Welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to push our board to Fusion, create new design. I'm going to put it in my play folder. And then we have 3D packages for everything except for the logo. This will probably take a minute for you. It actually takes a minute for me, but I fast forward through this. It's ready. Let's go ahead and launch Fusion. I'm going to go to my play folder, double click to open our AT Tiny programmer. So hopefully it's a little clear now. This is where the dip connectors go for each of our AT Tinies. And then notice how the header pins are on the bottom so that this actually plugs in. I don't know why the silk screen came inverted. Um, there must be a bug in Fusion. We can reveal our logo. Again, it's inverted. It actually looks kind of cool grain. So we have our header pins sticking out. And then here we have our capacitor and our power LED and resistor. So hopefully you guys think this is legit. This is what our AT Tiny programmer should look like in 3D. And if we had another Fusion project where we had an Arduino Uno model, then we could actually probably plug this into the actual Arduino Uno and see that it should fit pretty much perfectly. All right, I'm gonna close out of this. I'm not gonna save it though. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see what our board looks like in Oshpark. Make sure to save your board if you haven't. Let's go ahead and open up your browser. I'm gonna to go to oshpark.com, browse for files. It's gonna be in documents, eagle, projects. I made it in this folder on accident. Make sure you do the board. So there's our first look at our board. I'm gonna put revision one, continue. Here's the top of our board, what they guarantee what it'll look like. So HTML programmer, our labels are here as appropriate. Bottom of the board, header pin, silk screen, logo, revision, design by, drills, so where all the holes are gonna be, solder mask, so where the purple is, top layer, so where all the routing is, bottom layer routing, top layer purple, outline, always boring, bottom silk screen, and top silk screen. So you guys can go ahead and save or order, and you guys can continue from there. I'm not going to but if you want to order it you probably could now awesome so this was the AT Tiny programmer not very flashy but a very powerful tool to have in your arsenal and it's kind of cool when makers make their own tools so good luck and make fun finishing the rest of this project and i'll catch you nerds for the next one